okay so now we'll discuss about the liver now look at this this is the organ which you are seeing this organ is called as liver liver is actually situated in the abdominal cavity in the abdominal cavity we have a nine quadrants in among these nine quadrant this is situated in the right hypochondrium along with the epigastric region and the small part the lower part comes into the right lumbar region also now what are the question used to be asked ki first identify the organ that you can identify this is the liver which is having the two lobes see this is the right lobe which you are observing this is the bigger one and this is the left lobe between the right and the left lobe we are observing the, there is a ligament you are observing this ligament is called as falciform ligament this is the falciform ligament now look at this this falciform ligament when you trace it up it is continuous as a right superior coronary ligament this is the right superior coronary ligament you are observing and also on to the left side when you look at this this is the left superior layer of coronary ligament ye jo left layer of superior layer of coronary ligament hai this becomes the left triangular ligament which is connected with the diaphragm here what happen the right side the right superior layer of coronary ligament it continues as inferior layer of coronary ligament so between the right superior layer and inferior layer there is an area which you are observing which is not covered with peritoneum this is the b bare area this is the d bare area aur ye right the superior layer or inferior layer jahan jodegi that is called as right right triangular ligament which has been connected with the diaphragm so now we have seen the peritoneal reflection this is the falciform ligament this is the right superior layer of coronary ligament this is left superior layer of coronary ligament this is the left triangular ligament here we have a bare area now how to hold it in anatomical position see anatomical position mein pakadne ke liye if you observe posterior side mein this is the posterior surface and this is the inferior surface here you are observing there is a groove for inferior vena cava see this is the groove for inferior vena cava you are observing jahan se maine probe dala hua this is groove for inferior vena cava and this is the inferior vena cava itself now what you have to do is inferior vena cava should be straight vertically straight so inferior vena cava agar vertically straight hai so it means this how we keep it in anatomical position this is how we keep it in anatomical position iska matlab when you see this this is the right right inferior this is the inferior vena cava inferior vena cava should be straight now look at this straight ka matlab hai ye is tarike se straight hona chahiye aise nahi hona chahiye inferior vena cava should be straight so when you keep the inferior vena cava straight onto the right side you can see this is the anatomical position of the liver so here you can see this is the anterior surface this is the superior surface when you look at this this is the posterior surface and this is the inferior surface among these surface and this is the right lateral surface among these five surfaces four surfaces are peritoneal and one surface is visceral peritoneal surface kon kon si hai anterior surface is peritoneum peritoneal surface superior surface is peritoneal surface posterior surface is peritoneal surface right lateral surface is peritoneal surface only the inferior surface which you are observing this inferior surface it is visceral surface because it is related with the viscera how to demarc posterior and the inferior surface now look at it there are three border this is the superior border you are observing this is the superior border this is you are observing posterior border and this is the inferior border so between the superior border and the posterior border there is a surface you are observing this is the posterior surface between the posterior border and inferior border that surface you are observing this surface is called as inferior surface so i can say this is the hilum look at this this is the hilum from where the structures are entering and leaving see this is the portal vein this is the portal vein the larger lumen you are observing and wall is very thin collapsed this is the portal vein then you are observing this is the hepatic artery because lumen is patent not that much dilated like a vein and this is the duct we are you are observing hepatic duct so hepatic duct you are observing this is the hepatic artery and this is the portal vein so above the hilum above the porta hepatis you have a posterior surface and below to this you have inferior surface so this was the anatomical position that we have discussed this is the how we hold it in anatomical position this is the anatomical position so anterior surface pe there you are observing this is the falciform ligament superior surface pe aapne dekha superior layer of coronary ligament posterior surface pe jab aap dekhenge to the bare area you are observing what are the boundaries of the bare area see superior layer of coronary ligament inferior layer of coronary ligament and groove for inferior vena cava this is the triangular bare area which is called as the bare area superior it is bounded by superior layer of coronary ligament inferior it is bounded by inferior layer of coronary ligament and base is formed by groove for inferior vena cava so this is the bare area 
and this is the inferior vena cava you are observing so this is the groove for inferior vena cava now look at this inferior vena cava got hunga mein you are observing the groove for inferior vena cava this is also non peritoneal structure this is not covered with peritoneum this groove for inferior vena cava after the groove for inferior vena cava you are observing this lobe this is a small lobe which you are observing this is called as caudate lobe which has a two projections which has a two projection papillary process and caudate process now look at this next to this you are observing this is ligamentum fissure for ligamentum venosum this is the fissure this is again the non peritoneal structure this is not covered with the peritoneum so this is fissure for ligamentum venosum what is ligamentum venosum yahan pe ek ligam ductus venosus milta hai fetal life mein jaise hi first breath hua ductus venosus is convert into ligamentum venosum kyunki ductus venosus ka kaam kya hai that connects the portal vein and inferior vena cava kyunki fetal life mein liver is not working तो लिवर से जो बाईपास करने का काम कर रहा है ब्लड को इनफीरियर वेना केवा में दैट इज द डक्टस विनोसस लेटर ऑन इट विल बी फ्यू ब्लॉक एंड दैट इज बिकम्स ए लिगामेंट दैट इज कॉल्ड एज लिगामेंटम विनोसम सो दिस इज फिशर फॉर लिगामेंटम विनोसम एंड दिस एरिया इज फॉर द इसोफेगस दिस एरिया इज फॉर द इसोफेगस सो दीज आर द स्ट्रक्चर्स वी आर ऑब्जर्विंग ऑन टू द पोस्टीरियर सरफेस पोस्टीरियर सरफेस पे वी हैव अ बेयर एरिया ग्रू फॉर इनफीरियर वेना केवा कॉर्डेट लो फिशर फॉर लिगामेंटम विनोसम एंड इसोफेगल एरिया नाउ लुक एट दिस इनफीरियर सरफेस This is the stomach area or the gastric area. Gastric area के बाद देखिए यहाँ पे आपको एक fissure दिख रही है. This is the fissure for ligamentum teres. Is fissure for ligamentum teres में you are observing a ligament. That ligament is called as ligamentum teres. What is ligamentum teres? Ligamentum teres is an obliteration formed by the left umbilical vein. Left umbilical vein क्योंकि this connected with the umbilicus. So left umbilical vein जब obliterated हो जाएगा, this become the ligamentum teres. So this is the fissure for ligamentum teres. This lobe, which quadrate shape lobe you are observing, this is the quadrate lobe. And of course, this fissure for ligamentum teres is also non-peritoneal. So non-peritoneal means deep bare area, groove for inferior vena cava, then fissure for ligamentum venosum, fissure for ligamentum teres. This is the quadrate lobe. Quadrate lobe. After that, see, this is the fossa for gall bladder. This is also non-peritoneal. This is fossa for gall bladder where we have a gall bladder itself. and this area is for the renal area right renal right kidney and upper part we have a duodenum and the lower part we have a jejunum this is how the relation which you are observing on to the inferior surface so agar aapse pucha jaye ki what are the bare area this is the bare area first of all second the h shape fissure you can remember this h shape fissure h shape fissure h shape fissure means fossa for gall bladder group four inferior vena cava fissure for ligamentum venosum fissure for ligamentum teres and porta hepatis 1 2 3 4 5 these are non peritoneal structures where we do not have the peritoneum and the bare area of course this is also non peritoneal and one more peritoneal non peritoneal structure is where the falciform ligament is attached so this is also non peritoneal structure so this is how so uh, in the liver we should know about the how to hold it in anatomical position inferior vena cava should be straight you have to identify each and every lobe and then you have to identify the posterior inferior visceral relation and the structures onto the porta hepatis generally used to be asked all a part of this there there is a line because see anatomically when you are observing this is a falciform ligament so anatomically this is the left lobe and this is the right lobe and caudate and quadrate lobe they are towards the right side but physiologically it is little changed because physiologically what we say where हेपेटिक आर्टरी डिवाइड इन टू पोर्टल वेन डिवाइड इन टू हेपेटिक डक तो जो राइट वाला सप्लाई कर रहा है दैट इज द राइट पार्ट एंड दिस इज अनादर वन इज द लेफ्ट पार्ट तो वॉट वी फिजियोलॉजिकली वॉट वी डू देर इज ए कॉलेजो केबल लाइन कॉलेजो केबल लाइन एक इमेजनरी लाइन है बिटवीन कॉलेजो मीन गॉल बेडर एंड इनफीरियर वेना केबल सो कॉलेजो केबल लाइन इमेजनरी प्लेन मतलब इसके इधर वाला लेफ्ट पार्ट इधर वाला राइट पार्ट सो दिस इज द राइट लोब एंड दिस इज द लेफ्ट लोब अकॉर्डिंग टू द फिजियोलॉजी so it means this area is supplied by the right branch of hepatic artery right branch of portal vein and the right hepatic duct and this area is supplied by left branch of hepatic artery left branch of portal vein and the left hepatic duct it means physiologically caudate and quadrate lobe they are towards the left side but anatomically they are towards the right side the last question generally used to be asked that is what the cunat segments or the segments kaun se hain always remember the first segment is for the uh, caudate lobe this is the first segment blood supply ke according this is the first segment caudate lobe then second left lobe mein upper part left lobe mein lower part is the third segment so first second third first is always caudate second third and the fourth where we have the falciform ligament attachment this is the fourth segment then we have fifth sixth seventh and eighth fifth sixth 
राइट साइड में नीचे की साइड सेवन एंड एट अपर साइड में सो दीज आर दी टोटल एट सेगमेंट जनरली वी डिस्कस फॉर द क्यूनेट सेगमेंट सो दिस इज अबाउट द होल लिवर स्टोरी दैट वी हैव सीन डिसेक्टेड पार्ट इन द लिवर हाउ टू होल्ड इट इन अनाटमिकल पोजिशन एंड हाउ टू आइडेंटिफाई द स्ट्रक्चर्स थैंक यू